Hello, good morning, magandang umaga po. Today we're going to talk about a topic that could potentially affect up to 250,000 Amerasians. Uh, these are uh, uh, Filipinos born in the Philippines with uh, American father and uh, Filipino mother. It would be beneficial to those people and beneficial to people who are planning to get married to an American citizen as well. So, hang loose and stay with me. As I mentioned, uh, this could affect about 250,000, give or take, uh, Filipinos, babies born in the Philippines, not knowing that they are no longer a Filipino. An American father went to the U.S. consulate or embassy and filed a report of birth on the child and at the same time obtained a U.S. passport for the child. That child loses her citizenship. Now, in the United States, the same, uh, the same thing is true with a slight difference. If an American father or mother, but with one being uh, a Filipina, if they, ha if they gave birth to a child in the United States, they do not lose their citizenship but they have to file a report of birth because there is no record, there is no Philippine uh, uh, birth certificate. So they have to file that for them to be recognized as a U.S. citizen. Now, in this episode, we're going to talk about someone who was born in the Philippines with American father and Filipino mother. Now, she grew up, she, she was she, gr she grew up in the Philippines, she was educated in the Philippines, and when the time comes, she wanted to come to the United States. The immigration office said, oh, I'm sorry, but you are an American citizen. And the penalty is huge, half a million dollars for her, because the penalty is computed from the date of birth to today. Big problem. I'll show you the solution as was shared to me by this individual. So, hang loose, we're going to talk about it. This letter was sent to me by uh, one of my viewers uh, who had this experience on December 1st of 2019. I hope you're doing well. I'm writing this email to give you an update regarding my case. Let me refresh your memory. I am Karen, a US citizen born in the Philippines to an American citizen father and a Filipino citizen mother. I acquired US citizenship since my dad filed a consular report of birth abroad, and a U.S. passport immediately after my birth. I have never traveled abroad since birth. However, the Bureau of Immigration states that individuals who were born in the Philippines but of foreign nationality are required to follow Philippine immigration laws, since they are still under the jurisdiction of the Bureau of Immigration. So, the way I see this, the father filed a consular report of birth in the U.S. and filed for a passport right away. So it's as if Karen went to the U.S. and became a U.S. citizen. At that point, she may have lost her uh, Philippine citizenship. Now, I would think that if that's the situation, he should apply for uh, a dual citizenship. But no, that is not the case. So let's continue on. The Bureau of Immigration today clarified its policy on computation of arrears for foreign nationals born in the Philippines, which applies especially to those who intend to depart from the country using a foreign passport, even newly acquired. Bureau of Immigration sales per, uh, spokesperson and attorney Elaine Tan says that a person who enters the Philippines retains the nationality status he was born with. But see, he was born as a Filipino. She was born as a Filipino. For example, an American who carries a U.S. passport is treated as a foreign national the minute he enters the Philippine territory, even if he previously was born here. Uh-huh, okay. So she was a Filipino, but then when the dad got the U.S. passport, she's now treated as a foreign national. 
it further says all subjects who carry foreign passports are presumed to have the same status from the time of their entry into the Philippines, according to TAN. Since I'm an American citizen, even with my Philippine birth certificate, the Dep Department of Foreign Affairs could not issue me a Philippine passport if I don't settle my penalties with the Bureau of Immigration. Upon consulting the immigration office, penalties already amounted to more than half million pesos since they were charging me since birth. I asked whether there was an alternative and they said that I should file for a recognition as Filipino citizen. This recognition would give me the same rights as a Filipino citizen despite being a foreigner. Thus, I could then be issued a Philippine passport and all penalties would then be waived. At least they have an out. There is a way after being born and obtaining the U.S. passport to go to the uh, immigration office and register right away recognition of birth. This way there will be dual citizenship. Pass forward to this date. It has already been five months since my application for recognition as Philippine citizen or Filipino citizen. I'm happy to announce that my application has been approved and I just got back from Manila to claim my identification certificate of recognition and my order of recognition. So she had to fly back to Manila to get this uh, certificate of, uh, of uh, recognition. Uh, so she's now a full-pledged Filipino citizen at that point. But see, that's another problem. She has to fly back to Manila. Why could they not just send the, the, by DHL the documents? Uh, that's the problem with the uh, system in the Philippines. Everything has got to be done in person. The immigration officer said I could already fly to the U.S. and present my identification certificate along with my U.S. passport, but I have decided to go to DFA, Department of Foreign Affairs, next week and secure a Philippine passport as well. Good move. I always recommend to everyone, everyone who is a, a Filipino citizen to carry a Philippine passport. Some people say, oh, gee, it's too much trouble, too much money. Uh, the money is not much, maybe $100 at the most, I don't know. Uh, uh, the, and I can, I can appreciate the fact that for some people, let's say who live in a state where the Philippine consulate is far, may be reluctant to do that uh, because you have to travel to that state. And sometimes you cannot get your passport the same day. No, actually, it will take you three months to get the passport. Uh, so it took five months to get this recognition, and I don't know how long it would take in the Philippines to take the pa to get the passport. But in the U.S., it takes three months to get your passport because it gets shipped to the Philippines for processing, and then it it's mailed back here in the U.S. and then it's mailed to you. Okay, at least you don't have to go pick it up. At least they're mailing it here. And I can understand why in the Philippines everything has got to be done in person because the mail is totally unreliable. But at least they should send it to DHL because DHL has a, has a safe reputation of being able to deliver uh, the documents. Hence, I suggest that parents of U.S. citizen children born in the Philippines consult with the Bureau of Immigration immediately, that is, while their children are still young to avoid paying penalties. Uh, this way, from the, from the time of birth, they will be both Philippine citizen and American citizen. Now, that is the critical part because usually we just go ahead and register them as Filipino. Now, if the dad in this case did not register her to be a U.S. citizen, she will be considered a Filipino. So, no problem there. But the problem is when the dad filed the uh, uh, papers in the U.S. for her to be a U.S. citizen, she lost her Philippine citizenship. And so somehow it has to be recovered through a dual citizenship filing or a recognition of birth filing. God bless you always. Sincerely, Karen. There you have it. So for the benefit of those people who are married to an American citizen and uh, Filipino, Filipino mother, gives birth in the, United, in the Philippines and thinking all along that she's a Filipina and maybe she is because if she does not file anything in the United States, she's considered a Filipina. But once she filed and then obtained a passport in the U.S., she loses her citizenship. She's still a Filipina, but you have to file certain documents. But 
you could be subject to penalties. So here's how you avoid a penalty. You file the uh, report of birth in the Philippines and uh, request for uh, recognition as a Filipino citizen. Oh, by the way, report of birth in the Philippines is not required, I guess, because they already have a birth certificate thinking that they were born in the Philippines, they're a Filipina, blah, blah, blah. But it's the recognition of being a Filipino citizen that needs to be filed. Now, in the United States and in the Philippines, I guess, uh, when you apply for dual citizenship, it only costs about $50. In this case, I don't know exactly how much, but I think she applied, f uh, she, she asked for expedited service. And I, if I recall correctly, she had to pay about two, between $200 and $300 at that point, which is much less than the uh, uh, 500 million pesos she will have to pay in penalties because she overstayed in the Philippines. Uh, and at the same time, she had to wait from the time that paper was filed, she had to wait about five months. It took her five months to be able to get the recognition. So that's how long it takes. So if you, if, if you don't want your child to have that difficulty when in the future, let's say, if they decide to come, come to the United States, which I think behooves them to do that because it's much better to live in the United States but not to retire in the United States. Retirement's better in the Philippines. Uh, then they will not have any issue. So this is an advance warning for people uh, who had child in the Philippines with an American father and the father registered them as a U.S. citizen and obtained their passport. If they have not done that, I assume it will be okay. She will be a Filipino, okay? Uh, and all she has to do is to apply and she has no U.S. passport. She did not lose uh, her Filipino citizenship. So uh, I hope this helps you. And uh, if, if you like it, uh, please do share it with other people who may be affected by this. And uh, do subscribe. I will appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much and make it a great day.